my troopers popping in this bitch popping in this bitch me and my troopers popping in this bitch popping in this bitch me and my troopers so i just got home from work i'm a little tired but i just watched the first 3 episodes of peacemaker and i wanted to squeeze the video out before i took a shower and took a nap so with that being said, hello, my name is Mr. J3T, aka Big Sexy, aka the Kentucky Cannon, aka the World Class Badass, aka Chocolate Thunder with Caramel Swirl, aka Black Lightning with Peanut Butter Filling, aka the Man of the Century, aka the Houdini of Sexy, aka your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber, aka the Pride of Kentucky, aka the Guru of Greatness. Ha! <sighs> The guru of greatness. Ah. And today, like I said before, we're talking about Peacemaker. So, Peacemaker, the show, takes place after the events of The Suicide Squad. Not Suicide Squad with Will Smith. The Suicide Squad. The, one direct, the new one, directed by James Gunn, starring Idris Elba and John Cena. Speaking of John Cena, we follow his character, Peacemaker, as he gets recruited by a uh, mercenary called uh, Morn, uh, I believe his name is, and Amanda Waller's team of uh, from uh, the first the, the Suicide Squad movie, as they hire Peacemaker to kill a U.S. Senate who is actually a creature known as a butterfly. And yeah, it goes from there. So, uh, one thing that I wanna get out the way is first and foremost, this is a very adult show. Like a very adult type show. Um, there's your usual blood, there's a lot of blood, a lot of swearing, like, and some some sex, like, uh, in, I believe the first episode, like, there are some uh, spicy scenes, and uh, the females get fully like naked, and yeah, we see full booby action, full boobs on display. So, yeah, this is. This is not for the kiddos. This is not. Ugh, this is not for the kiddos. So, uh, <laughs> if there are any kiddos in around your vicinity while you're watching this show, pause the show and get them out. This show is not for kids. Now, with that getting out the way, I enjoyed it. Um, I now Peacemaker was actually one of my favorite parts from the Suicide Squad movie and he was one of my favorite parts I think that was John Cena's like probably his best role his best performance and uh in this show he brought that same energy that uh he brought that he uh, that he had excuse me sorry I'm very tired he brought that same energy that he had from the movie to the show, but we spend more time with him, get to see him develop more as a character, because uh, we, when we first see him, he's recovering from an injury, because uh, if you haven't seen the Suicide Squad movie, then spoilers, uh, Idris Elba's character Bloodshot uh, shot uh, John Cena, Peacemaker, in the neck, we thought that killed him, but turns out he's alive. And they explained, like, how he survived that. And how he survived a whole building being dropped on top of him. But we pick up with him there. And we basically just follow him as, like, uh, he gets hired by this mercenary to kill this uh, U.S. Senate, who, like I said, is a creature called the Butterfly. And it's... I, I liked I liked him a lot. I liked him more in this show 
even though I liked him in the movie, I liked him more. I like him even more now because of these three episodes. Because uh, they, these episodes do a good job in fleshing out Peacemaker as a character. Because uh, in the first movie, he was really like about his whole thing is peace, right? And he said it himself, like, I love peace and I'll kill anybody to get peace. I'll kill any man, woman, child, anything to get peace. But we see that uh, in the show, that was Cap, because uh, there comes a moment where he has the U.S. Senate in his sights, and the U.S. and the the guy has a family, right? And he he's hesitant to kill the kids. Even though he said he'd kill any man, woman, and child to get peace, he's he's hesitating a little bit because he doesn't want to shoot the kids. So it's a little 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 bit of cap, peacemaker. He said you would kill any any man, woman, and child, yet you you hesitate to kill a few kids. You know that's you know that's cap. You were capping there for a minute, but okay, I'll let that slide. You know. Uh, I guess, you know, I can let it slide because, you know, it, you know, uh, fleshes out your character a little more. I guess I can let that slide. I guess, I guess I'll let it slide. But, yes, we see that. We we also see a moment where, uh, another spoiler for the Suicide Squad movie, uh, Peacemaker, he kills, uh, Rick Flagg in that movie. We see, uh, a scene... And I believe it's the second episode where uh, uh, Peacemaker, he's sitting, he's laying on the bed, listening to music, and he just starts bawling his eyes out. Uh, he's saying, oh, I'm such a dick. I push everybody away because I'm such an asshole. Everybody hates me. I killed Rick Flagg. So he just spilling his guts, essentially. We see that he didn't want to kill Rick Flagg, but he felt like he didn't have a choice to finish the mission and we see here that he regrets killing Rick Flag and that he wants to open up and be more friends but have friends have people to talk to but like he just said uh he he pushes people away but the one true friend that he has or like the closest thing to a friend that Peacemaker has in this show is a character named Vigilante. Now, Vigilante is... You could probably guess a Vigilante who uh, teams up with Peacemaker to kill some bad guys, right? And I like their dynamic. I like how, even though Peacemaker denies the fact that him and uh, Vigilante are friends, they really are. <laughs> and he's... Or at least, like... Vigilante is like the closest thing to a friend that Peacemaker has at the moment. Uh, the closest thing to a human friend that he has. He has a pet eagle that's his pet friend. But in terms of like people, humans, Vigilante is the only the closest thing to a friend that he has at the moment. And uh, I like Vigilante a lot in this. Uh, I like how he's like, he's a bit of a jokester. But he he knows his stuff. He knows what he's doing, because uh, there's a moment where when back when I'm telling you guys the moment where he's trying to assassinate the family. Because spoiler alert, they're all butterflies. Uh, I know who would have thought they're all butterflies. Um, and Peacemaker is hesitating to shoot him, specifically the kids. Uh, Vigilante steps in and shoots all of them, no problem. Like, he shoots the wife, he shoots the, the son, he shoots the daughter, all of them with no problem. And he's about to shoot the dad until one of the bodyguards comes in and kicks all of their asses. But, um, yes, I think he's a cool character. Uh, I can't wait to see more of him as the show goes on. Um... There are some more characters. Uh, we get to spend more time with the team that we saw that 
that in the the, the Suicide Squad movie, um, it's hard, 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 hard stock. Uh, there's this one female. Her she has a funky, funky name. Uh, yeah, she has a very funky name. Uh, hard stock, I think. Hard stock, I think her name is. Yeah, guys, she has a weird name, but we, at first she comes off as a bit of a hard ass, but we see that slowly start to open up to Peacemaker. Uh, even though it's slowly, little baby steps, we see that she is willing to talk and open up, because when they first met, they didn't get off to the best set of terms. Hell, I think uh, Peacemaker <laughs> tried to was frank he was like look like i've been in prison for four years i'm just trying to bang so <laughs> at least he's honest but so they didn't get off to the best start but uh we'd see them slowly start to talk and connect a little bit so that was cool to see they're probably gonna have a bit of a fang going on probably i say probably it most they most likely will probably have thing but who knows who knows really that the show just started there's only three episodes so who knows i'm just a i'm just a kid sitting in his room so <laughs> i'm not the writer but yes they probably have a thing is so that'll be cool to see uh as far as like i think one of my favorite characters one of my favorite characters on here is like a character named uh, Leto, Leto, uh, L-E-O-T-O, -O, uh, Leto. She is the daughter of uh, Amanda Waller, and the only reason she's involved in all this is because she needed a job at the moment, but she's adamant that uh, when this job is over, she's done. She's going with her wife, because she's a lesbian. She's going with her wife, move somewhere else, uh, get a job she actually likes. She's adamant that after this job, it's over. It's over. And I like her a lot. She she has some good jokes. She has some good banter with all of the characters. Uh, her and Peacemaker seem to be forming a bit of a friendship, and that's cool to see. Uh, there's one particular moment that I liked where... Uh, uh, her wife sends her a, a spicy photo and uh, <laughs> Peace, Peacemaker they're all laughing, teasing her a little bit and afterwards Peacemaker's like hey, I support it, I'm an ally and she just goes she shoots back, just because you have a lesbian haircut doesn't mean you're an ally and he shoots back, trust me Like, look at all the tabs that I have open and you'll see that I'm an ally <laughs> so I just like that little interaction it, that I like the fact that they're building up a burgeoning friendship. Um, now, one thing I want to talk about is a Peacemaker's dad. So we get to see Peacemaker's dad, and his dad is a dick. Not only is he a dick, he's a racist and sexist dick. So you can imagine he's fun. Um, <laughs> in fact, he actually... When Peacemaker is telling him about bloodshots, fear of rats, phobia of rats, uh, and he tells his dad that Bloodshot's dad actually used to torture him by locking him in a room full of hungry rats, and all the rats started biting him, his dad laughed. His dad was laughing so hard that he was choking, and Peacemaker had to give him a cup of water. And after his laughing fit, uh, his dad just goes, please tell me that fag isn't the one that shot you. <laughs> so I was like, wow, okay. Ugh. Ooh, yeah. So he's... We're gonna, we're gonna see a lot more of him because uh, he ends up going to prison in a... I'm not gonna tell you how he goes to prison, but he ends up going to prison in, like, the third episode. And, um... He's has this group of uh, people inside jail that pretty much worship him. I think they call him, like, the White Knight, I think. 
it's either the white knight or the white it's the white something big racist guy basically they do the thing hail racist hail racist hail hail yes because he's the king racist and king sexist so we're gonna see more of him uh he's about to pop off and all i gotta say on him i can't wait to see him get his comeuppance or because yeah like as i said before he's established as a racist and a sexist it even in fact like he calls an asian uh police officer that's interrogating him chopsticks so yeah he isn't shy in showing that he don't he's not a big fan of the minorities or the gays and he thinks little of females so he doesn't he doesn't necessarily hide the fact that he's not a fan of all of them so yeah i i can't wait to see his comeuppance like i i wonder if how he's gonna get his comeuppance hmm. that's something we're gonna have to wait and see will we but all in all i like where this show is going so far uh some of the action scenes i like uh there's there's one particular where uh i like that peacemaker uh, he unknowingly hooks up with a uh a butterfly and the butterfly uh, i guess i should explain what butterflies are butterflies are like these little creatures and they seem to inhabit a person take over their brain and stuff they're basically these little uh insect things that control a human body by going into their head and their brain and controlling them right and so peacemaker unknowingly hooks up with a butterfly and after they hook up the butterfly finds out uh, bleh, the butterfly the butterfly finds out uh, that um peacemaker is planning on killing the u.s senate who as i said before is secretly a butterfly and they start the fight right i like that a lot i like that fight scene because uh that butterfly chick really had peacemaker on the ropes like he's just she's just sh shit whipping him everywhere throwing him through walls like the only reason he won that fight is because like he had to get his helmet and say activates uh explosive and just blows her to hell so that's the only reason he won that fight he had to <laughs> use his helmet and just say explode everything that's the only way he won so these creatures is no joke uh some of the other fight scenes i like too i think my only one critique is um light up light up the fights a little bit light up brighten things up a little bit because there are points where i had to bright up my my phone the screen on my phone so i can see the stuff that's happening because yeah i had to bright up because i could barely see anything so just brighten up up a little bit so we can actually see uh but other than that i really like where this is going so far i think i actually like this show more than hawkeye but that remains to be seen i give it two thumbs up right now but i'll save my final verdict for when i'm done with the show for when the show's over but for now i really like it so far can't wait to see where this goes i give it two thumbs up and if you guys want to watch it it's on hbo max right now so if any of you have hbo max go out and watch it it's good it's cool it's something different from marvel even though i love marvel i'll always love marvel uh i can't i also love to like see stuff that's different from marvel you know this the suicide squad that's also a great movie uh the boys invincible just things that are different from marvel and it's not just iron man and spider-man and captain america it's not just all of them you know i love watching some different superhero content but with that being said that's about it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up 
Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But if you really like me, consider subscribing and ring that bell so you always know whenever I upload because it's free. <laughs> it's free. It's free. Don't be a dum-dum. Subscribe today. Deuces.